Hello everybody, my name is Jim with Fullman Adventure Club and today we're going to be taking a look at the Autovox Solar 4 backup camera. Now I've done backup camera reviews before but what I really like about these guys is that it's a two camera setup. It's got a 7 inch 1080 monitor, two camera setup but these cameras are wireless and battery powered. And so you do not have to drill holes in your RV to run a power wire for the camera, run a video wire up to the front of the RV, or even a, a activation wire that usually goes to the reverse lights in your RV. So when you put it in reverse, that sends a signal to the camera to turn on, etc. There's no, none of that involved. This is a very, very easy setup and also easy to move from vehicle to vehicle. So if you're RVing half the year and then you wanna use it for your truck and your tow in a trailer, this is a really cool setup. And that's why I did this video. I've been having a lot of fun playing with these. Um, also, if you mount one of the cameras to say the roof of your RV, it's hard to get to, to recharge with a micro USB or anything like that. It comes with one solar panel that you just stick on the roof and it keeps it charged indefinitely. The battery life on these is fantastic. On a full charge, if you left it on 100% of the time, it would last over 15 hours. Um, but since most of us are only gonna use this to back into tight spots or check our blind spot or occasionally check a security footage angle or something at your front door, this is gonna last for probably months without recharging. So I thought that was pretty cool and I'm gonna share it with you guys. Why don't we jump right in and take a look. If you're interested, Amazon link in the description below. All right, so opening up the box here, what we're gonna have inside is this little solar panel to keep it charged up with a micro USB, an antenna range extender, which I don't need because the range is amazing on these. You have your base plate, charging cable, little extra mounting bracket, uh, then you're gonna have your power adapter for the cigarette lighter going to the monitor, your mounting plate, some hardware screws, and you're gonna have the camera itself, and you can attach the uh, antenna to it as well. Then you're gonna have your main display right here, your warranty card, your manual, and all that good stuff. Um, you're also gonna have the antenna for the monitor and the regular antenna for the camera. I never had to use the extender, so I don't know if you'll need to or not, but the range is incredible on these guys, so we'll go over that later. Now, at first you uh, charge these up just by plugging them into a micro USB, but this is the solar panel option that only comes with one of the two cameras. And you're gonna plug that into the bottom, into the micro USB right there, and that's gonna keep that camera all charged up. There's a place for the micro USB on the bottom, and then there's also a power button. So you can turn the camera off if you don't want it to be woken up whenever you turn on the display. When you turn on the display, it wakes up the cameras. So after a little while of use or when the display's turned off, the cameras go into a sleep mode, um, which use less energy. So we're gonna leave that camera plugged into the solar panel and leave it in the sun. We're gonna take our second camera, which is fully charged, and we're not gonna plug it into a solar panel. And I'm gonna set the display not to sleep so the cameras stay on all the time. And after 14 hours, one of the cameras has lost one bar on the battery and the one that's plugged into solar is still completely fully charged. Now after 14 hours of continuous use, that's insane. That's really, really good battery life. Um, if you're only using this for two or three minutes at a time to back up, that's gonna last you forever. And um, frankly, I wouldn't be I'm surprised if you could get away without the solar panels at all and just charge them up once a month or two months uh, because those last a really, really long time. And with the solar panel, you're not gonna have to worry about it, but the kit only comes with one solar panel, so you might have to order an extra one. Now with other backup cameras, you have to drill holes, install wiring, run them to power sources somewhere in your RV, and in some cases, run them to the backup lights of your RV so when you put it in reverse, they activate. None of that is necessary with this guy, which I love. You just plug in the cigarette lighter adapter for the monitor, that's it, monitor's active. You charge up your cameras and you're off to the races. And what's fun is I use that little portable power pack with a cigarette lighter adapter, which makes it really easy to dial in where I would mount these cameras on the RV. So you can see that's the feed from the camera right there. And with my little portable power pack, it's real easy just to kind of play around with this thing and check it out, check out different angles and different positions and see where I would want to put them. And um, you can see there's the camera creating its feed. There are no wires whatsoever, completely running off ba battery power and wireless, so there are no hol holes to drill or anything else. I put a magnet on my mounting bracket just so I could play around with these things with you guys uh, real easily without mounting them permanently, um, but it's been a lot of fun using them that way because I can just have a lot of fun playing with it. But you can pretty much attach this anywhere that you need an extra set of eyes. And um, here I can actually show you if we just kind of put it underneath the RV. Let's say you were trying to navigate something weird on a mountain 
uh, road. You would have be able to look underneath your RV to check for clearance and stuff like that. This is uh, my camera phone footage and then we'll switch over to the monitor view. So that's kind of a cool idea. When it comes to the image quality, it's it has a really good picture. However, the color is kind of washed out. It's a little more in the gray tone area. Um, I suspect that's because night vision might kind of always be on. There is color, but it's not perfectly accurate. Now again, if you wanted to use one of the cameras as a primary backup camera, you could use the secondary camera as either a blind spot camera for when you're driving down the road and maybe there's a spot in your mirror that you just can't quite see. Um, very easy to use it for that purpose or you could use it as a security camera as well. So you could move this above your door to see who comes a knocking at night, have the monitor plugged in next to your bed and just turn that on and you'll be able to see what's going on, which I like. Now again, using the magnets the way that I'm using, I wouldn't recommend because they could scratch your paint or even compress your paint. Um, but I'm, you know, I'm just kind of being careful and messing around just for the day. So you'll have to decide how you want to mount these, but they do swivel into uh, different angles, which is nice. So if you wanted to really point this down higher up than I have it, but you can see your tow hitch bar, you can see the front of the vehicle if you're about to drive over stuff or get really close to the garage if you're trying to park it really close to a wall or a tree. You could also point that forward and just have a forward facing camera and a rear facing camera. And so I'll just point that up and we'll kind of take a look at me just walking in front of the RV here, just to give you an idea of what that really looks like as far as the field of view. I would like to see it a little bit wider really, but it doesn't have any fisheye lens correction going on, which is nice, but you can see that you can switch from the back camera. You just push the uh, top button, then it switches to the front camera. And if you push it again, you have split screen and you can see both. Now onto the matter of range. I took one camera and put it on the back of my truck down there. You can see this camera's up at the RV. Now I'm gonna try and wake up the one of the truck. No problems, kicked it right on. There's the truck and then here's the RV and we're gonna go split screen. So you can see storm there and then my truck down there. So that's pretty good range, but let's really test the range and see what we can do. This is gonna be started in my basement. So this is in the basement on the opposite end of my house. So we're going through walls and doors and everything else. I'm gonna close this door behind me and we're gonna grab this camera so we can really test out the range and see how far we get. Um, and so I'm just gonna take this and walk to the end of my driveway, which is a really good distance away. Um, so what we'll do is I'll go ahead and speed up this footage a little bit for us so it doesn't take me forever to walk out there. Let's speed that up. And we're completely smooth and doing just fine. Um, I'm holding the camera in front of my body and the antenna's kind of pointed down a little bit. So we get a little bit of lag at right about this distance. And then once I turn around at the end of the driveway and put the antenna up to the correct uh, height, or just pointing straight up, we, we were buttery smooth, no problems. It's transmitting perfectly. This is being recorded in the basement. And so I think that's a really, really, really good range considering that's going through the walls of my basement and everything else. Here's my camera phone just to give you a really good indication of how far away that is. That's really, really impressive. So again, playing with my magnets here, just another weird idea. If you did a lot of off-roading um, and you wanted something to give you a better angle of the obstacles and rocks that you're going over, uh, you could easily put these anywhere you like. And uh, so I did that just for fun, just to show my truck here, uh, playing with my magnets and sticking them in different places. This is being recorded from the basement again. So that's channel one, there's channel two, and then we're gonna go split screen so we can kind of see both at the same time. And now let's take them for a little spin. So you can see one camera's facing forward as I start to back up here and the right camera is obviously our backup camera. And so they work just fine. Again, field of view is pretty straight on. It's not very fish-eyed, it's not very wide, but it's wide enough to get the job done. Here's me just threw the monitor into my truck, plugged it into the cigarette lighter adapter and I'm good to go. Just to kind of show you what you might use it for, you know, trying to get over a rock or anything on the trail. I think that's kind of cool. It might come in handy to a lot of people that do off-roading and stuff. And of course, you can also have some options. You can do the display uh, when it sleeps. You can also add these backup lines, turn them on and off if you want, etc. Now, compared to the backup camera on my 2019 Colorado, during the day, there's no comparison. I mean, the color is way better on the Colorado, but that's a really expensive screen um, and stuff like that. So it's a little washed out on the display during the day. Now at night, however, it's a completely different ball game. The Colorado camera and night vision is just horrible. You can see how grainy it is. You can barely see the ground. Uh, this camera has a much better night vision setup and comes out 
definitely on top as the winner uh, compared to the 2019 Colorado camera, which is just abysmal. So I've just been having a ton of fun playing with these things. I really like the magnet upgrade because I can just kind of stick them anywhere. And I think I'm going to hang on to this thing uninstalled into anything just so I can take it anywhere and use it for whatever I want. Um, you could use it for a security system at your house or off-roading or in the RV or whatever you want. But this thing is so simple to move around and use. The image quality is not bad um, depending on the lighting could be a little bit better but definitely acceptable for the price range and I've been having a lot of fun playing with it and I think you might too all right guys well there you go I absolutely love the range uh, great battery life I've had a ton of fun playing with these things attaching my little magnets you can put them anywhere I think these would be really cool because they're so easy to move from one vehicle to the next you plug in the cigarette lighter adapter for the display and you mount your camera, you're good to go. And for me, I put those little magnets on them, so I've been having a lot of fun just sticking them anywhere I want, uh, which is a lot of fun. So I think it'd be really cool if you do some RVing, but then you get back home and you need to hook up your truck to a horse trailer or anything like that. Very simple to move these cameras over and switch applications, which I think is very, very cool. Uh, battery life was great. Um, as far as cons go, the display works just fine. It's 1080p and it looks okay. The color's a little wishy-washy, but um, as far as being able to see what's going on, it, it looks just fine. Um, it's just kind of more of a gray color. The colors don't really pop, but you don't really need that on a backup camera, so no big deal there. I think they should probably give you two solar panels um, since they give you two cameras, but it only comes with one and I guess the thinking there is if one is up on the roof or somewhere hard to get you attach it to the solar panel You're never gonna have to worry about it. The other one you just charge up or I guess you could order another little solar panel with a micro USB Connection these are waterproof not waterproof. They're not submerged submergible But um, they're IP 65 which I believe is like any kind of rain splashing anything like that is gonna be good to go Even with the micro USB connected on the bottom. I think you're still gonna be just fine there So these have a lot of really cool applications and I've been having a lot of fun using them um, Is it right for you? I'll put the link in the description down below so you can go over and check out some more specs and details and look at the price. If you're interested, that Amazon link is in the description below. I think that about wraps it up. I've been having a lot of fun with them. At least now you're better informed and you can figure out if this is something that's right for you. My name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club. If this video helped you out, please like, share, subscribe. And thank you so much for watching, guys. And happy camping.